and, and that agentic approach, which I absolutely agree with, uh, having looked at some of your stuff, and uh, and, and and a good example was uh, of a teacher who would uh, be a biology teacher in school, but very liberal minded, and and he joined our team, and he he uh, we were having a community meeting, and he said, well, I've got this meeting at 10 o'clock with a student to, to look at the theory of evolution, you know, and then he said to this boy, and you book some time with me at 10.30 to do something else. He said, but would you like to, it, would it be better if you came at 10, because then we can have a whole hour or so on theory of evolution. And, uh, you know, it's the most important theory in biology and etc. And the boy said, no, I'm happy with seeing you at 10.30. Thank you very much. And he learned immediately that be, that by having these structures and processes in place, you actually stop some of that imposition. You know, the, the right. boy said, no, I might want to have a theory of evolution sometime, but right now what I want is a nice session with you at 10.30 on what I want. Right. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.